So what is going on guys, Nando Prince here with another video and today we're going to discuss iPad OS 13.2.3. So Apple, a week after releasing the RAM management update of 13.2.2, they now brought in basically more system updates that you're not going to see on the front end. It's going to be more performance based and bug fixes within certain apps like the mail app and also again through the system search bars. So this is gonna be a small update. You're not gonna be any, you're not gonna see any performance increases, any battery life increases. Nothing's gonna change aside from those two main bug fixes. And I'm just gonna dive right into it and kind of show you and walk you through exactly what they changed. Also, we got a new little desk setup and it's coming together. Got so far I've only had the mouse pad and the two little plants right there, and I'm gonna have a bunch more because we just set up a new desk here. But let's hop right into it. So the first fix is gonna be within the spotlight search. So so normally if you search keywords or whatever the case may be, it'll not only search, you know, the different apps, but it'll search things within that app. And before with the old 13.2.2 and below, there was, there was a lot of issues in gathering information from within the mails app and the messages app, which now is fixed supposedly. So if you type in a keyword that says my computer, you can now see that in my outlook and in my mail app, those show up, which I know is a very generic word, but it'll finally fetch those things within the mail app and within other third-party applications, which is really, really nice. Another one has to do with attachments within messages. So as you guys know, so if you go within the messages app and you click on info within a conversation, then you get to see that all the different attachments that were shown within that conversation. But before that, there was a lot of trouble, especially with the links option down here, they wouldn't load up. So now it's been fixed clearly. I never really noticed it because I usually don't go back into the info within a message or within a message chain. So this is very rare. Usually if I get the message and I see the picture or the, or the link, or whatever, I open it right away or save that picture or that video. And for some reason, when you open the, when you press on the info button, it usually wouldn't load up. So that's been fixed. And then the last main fix, which I've heard a lot of complaints is within the native mail app. So lately I've been using the Spark app for my mail. It works from both of my Gmail accounts that I use, one for the YouTube channel, one personal one, but I haven't been able to connect the actual my Outlook one, which uses Exchange. So it's not a normal personal Outlook account, which you can easily load up on that one. But I have been able to use my Exchange account through the Mail app. But for some reason, there was a lot of issues with fetching the new mail that comes in on a regular basis. So people would just sit here and load it up and load it up. And it would take forever to either show up or it wouldn't show up at all. And it wouldn't automatically fetch, which so there wouldn't be any like push data or push notifications that came in, which is kind of annoying, especially when you're buying this to, as an email machine. I personally didn't have that issue whatsoever on none of the betas or any of the other iPadOS 13 updates, but people were complaining that the mail app was atrocious. So it's been fixed. Again, I never noticed anything, but people have been saying that the mail app needed a lot of work and supposedly it works now. So it'll fetch unread emails, it'll fetch new emails, even without you needing to reload it or pull down to refresh whatever those are. That is the main visual difference that you'll get with iPadOS 13.2.3. And that's pretty much it guys. Again, no performance bumps, no battery increases, nothing crazy. This is Apple just doing the, their very last bug fixes, which again, I don't know why they're not fixed immediately because this, you know, these devices are expensive. They're, you try to take care of them and you're expected to have something near perfect, but Apple's been releasing updates on a weekly basis, which is kind of absurd. And that's kind of what we're dealing with. Like I already know that iPad OS 13.3 beta is out which is kind of insane. So we're probably going to get that one with either within the next seven to 14 days for, you know, the public user. So that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give me a follow on Twitter. It's going to be right here. I'm going to be posting a lot of this desk setup. I'm waiting on a lamp. I'm waiting on a USB, on a USB-C hub, a monitor and a Bluetooth keyboard, which I'm going to set this up really, really nice, guys. So that's going to, again, that's going to do for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, peace.